You put that protein in with brain cells, and the cells, these brain cells, would explode with new shoots and leaves and trunks. So today, I want to talk about something scientists call feminization of males. I wrote about this in my book, and I even talked about how college enrollment is predominantly women now. It's over 60% in most colleges. And so I want to start today by talking about how artificial estrogen chemicals impact, physically impact males. And I want to end by talking about how these artificial chemicals, these estrogens, impact the male brain and motivation. Let's start with this paper from 2003. This goes way back to 2003. And the National Chinese Journal of Andrology published a paper called Effects of Nonylphenol on the Reproductive System of Male Animals. Nonylphenol, that's an alkylphenol. It's in this alkylphenol class. So we find this in soaps, in hand soaps, in all kinds of soaps in America. And what did they find? And by the way, you can find alkylphenol free soap. And I have a lot of recommendations on my website, ajconsultingcompany.com slash what I use, all one word. And you can look at my recommendations for soaps to avoid these chemicals. But nonylphenol, effects on the reproductive system of male animals. They, they found that estrogenic effects made of nonylphenols, these alkylphenol chemicals, may do harm to the reproductive systems of male fish, amphibians, and mammals. All right, 2003. So let's move forward to 2011 in the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. I've got a paper here called Demasculinization and Feminization of Male Gonads by Atrazine. That's that herbicide, second most used herbicide in North America. Consistent effects across vertebrate, vertebrate classes. It doesn't just happen in fish. It doesn't just happen in turtles. And by the way, if I was walking around at college campuses and talking about feminization of males from chemicals we're exposed to, people would flip. These are professional scientists. This is the title of a paper in a big journal. Demasculinization and feminization of males from a herbicide that's perfectly legal in America. Totally illegal in Europe, by the way. Again, it's worth repeating that. So let's, let's look at the paper. They start by saying atrazine is the most commonly detected pesticide contaminant of groundwater. If you live in farm country or near a golf course or you know where there's a lot of lawn, you need to filter your water. Charcoal, activated charcoal, gets rid of this. All right, let's go on. Atrazine demasculinizes male gonads by producing testicular lesions associated with reduced germ cell numbers. It's essentially reduction in ability to reproduce in fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals, and induces partial and or complete feminization. All right, so essentially they're focusing on the reproductive organs there. Let's move on, 2015 again, the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epi Epidemiology. I've got a paper here called The Assessment of Phthalates. Remember, these are plastic additives to make them look clearer. So when you go to the grocery store and you see those really clear bottles of water, that's usually loaded with phthalates. That's plastic number one. You see those cloudy milk jug looking bottles of water? That's plastic number two. It usually doesn't have as much phthalates. So people are buying phthalates because they look better. And let's see what happens. Assessment of phthalates in children's toys and child care articles. Review of the report including conclusions and recommendation of the Chronic Hazard Advisory Panel of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Huge title. Basically, they're just looking at phthalates. And they reviewed the literature, and then they said that you know, this high level of exposure to phthalates, at least in rats, they say, was characterized by malformations of the epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, prostate, external genitalia, um, they see undescended testes, so these are all related to the male organs. And they see retention of nipples, they see demasculinization. So, I mean, essentially, again, it's all about physical attributes they're looking at here, at least. And they say risk assessment demonstrated that some, of, some phthalates should be permanently banned. That's their conclusion. Let's move on. 
And this paper is interesting because, and it's in the Pl Public Library of Science, PLOS Journal. It's interesting because it moves from, you know, these physical feminizations of males, these changes in the sex organs or whatever, and it moves into the brain and it talks about motivation. This paper is called Estrogen Receptor Alpha Functions in the Regulation of Motivation and Spatial Cognition in Young Male Rats. So obviously you can't do these kind of studies in humans, but you know they're giving these rats different, they're, they're basically activating the estrogen receptor in these rats. The same thing that these artificial estrogens do, these estrogenics do, atrazine, alkyl phenols, BPA, right? And what do they find? So they start by saying estrogenic functions in regulate estrogenic functions in regulating behavioral states such as oh so estrogen they're just talking about natural estrogen it regulates motivation mood anxiety and cognition and this is relatively well documented in fe female humans and animals okay this is known in males however estrogenic functions have been largely neglect neglected not a lot of people are studying how natural estrogen impacts males and the, you know, the levels, the natural estrogen levels, by the way, are about 20 nanograms per liter in males. And in females, they're not that different. They're about 20 to 400, depending on the time of the month. So it's not like we're that far apart. So estrogen impacts on males is an important thing to study. Anyway, the male rats showed a dose-dependent increase in motivation when they were exposed to estrogen. Motivation. So as you gave them more estrogen, they actually decreased their motivation based on how much the dose was. And then this is interesting. The brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, encoding gene was also suppressed as they gave them more estrogen. BDNF. When I used to do Alzheimer's research, we called that the miracle grow for the brain. You put that protein in with brain cells, and the cells, these brain cells, would explode with new shoots and leaves and trunks. They looked like miracle grow, you know, a commercial. So BDNF was suppressed in males when you have estrogen. And by the way, again, it's in the brain. So they conclude that the steroid receptors and BDNF act in a concerted network-like manner to affect behavior. And again, this is all about motivation, the diminishing of male motivation from estrogen exposures. So, you know, the whole point of the, all of this is that artificial estrogens activate these same estrogen receptors, alter physical characteristics in males, including sex organs and different internal you know, organs, and they even alter the brain and disrupt masculinity. And scientists are calling it male feminization. Avoid it by avoiding these chemicals.